This afternoon, we sing and rejoice. In God's presence and goodness, we welcome Anna Taylor into the candidate phase of formation with the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Adoration. We invite you to pray with us and bless her. Show me the path of love. 
God. Praise God, you servants of God, who stand in the house of God, minister in the courts of the house of our God. You will show me the path of life, you my hope and my shelter. In your presence is endless joy, at your side is my home forever. Praise God, who is good. Sing praise to God who is loving, for God has chosen Israel for a treasured possession. I know that God is great, that our God is greater than all gods. You will show me the path of life, you my hope and my shelter, in your God's will is done in heaven, on earth, and in the depths of the seas. God, your name stands forever, remembered from age to age. You will show me the path of life, you my hope and my shelter, in your Passion on your servants, you who fear God, bless God. From Zion, may God be blessed, the God who dwells in Jerusalem. sustainer of all creation. You are a gracious and loving God. We praise you for your invitation to love. Guide us on our chosen path as we seek to respond to you each day of our lives.
God of power and majesty. As the sea roars and the trumpet blasts, your name is praised. All creation chants in praise of Christ Jesus, whose sacrifice restores the earth to goodness. And all we do hear our shouts of praise and thanksgiving. A reading from the first John. Beloved, let us love one another because love is of God. Everyone who loves is begotten by God and knows God. Whoever is without love does not know God, for God is love. In this way, God's love was revealed to us. God sent his only Son into the world so that we might have life through him. In this is love. Not that we have loved God, but that he loved us and sent his son as expiation for our sins. Beloved, if God so loved us, we also must love one another. No one has ever seen God Yet, if we love one another, God remains in us, and his love is brought to perfection in us. The word of the Lord. A reading from Francis of Assisi, Earlier Rule. Therefore, let us desire nothing else. Let us wish for nothing else. Let nothing else please us and cause us delight except our Creator and Redeemer and Savior, the one true God. Thank you. 
I call forth Anna Taylor. What do you desire? I desire to relate more closely to the Franciscan Sisters of Perpetual Adoration as a candidate. I ask to share in the living community of FSPA, to identify with your charism, spirit, and to engage in mutual love and support. The Tau Cross was used by Francis of Assisi. He frequently signed documents, marked walls and doorways, and blessed others with the sign of the Tau. This cross, which represented Francis's pledge to serve the little ones, is a sign of conversion. For Franciscans today, the Tau is a reminder of our call to gospel living. As we welcome Anna into the candidate phase, we offer this symbol as a reminder of her desire to discern her call to gospel living within FSPA. Let us bless this cross. Receive this cross as a sign of your call to gospel living. Anna, please. We also present you with the photo of the Perpetual Adoration Chapel as a reminder of our constant prayer for you. Thank you. 
compassionate and gracious God. We trust in your love and fidelity, and therefore in hope we pray, Lord, hear our prayer. We pray that we may be respectful of God's presence in all creation. Creator God, deepen our respect for the unique ways in which all creatures and persons show forth your glory, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are consecrated to God by the vows of consecrated celibacy, poverty, and obedience. May we seek to live our baptismal promises more intensely and have the grace to persevere in our commitment to the Lord and serve with open hearts and willing spirits, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray today for Anna Taylor and ask God's abundant blessings in her life's journey as she continues to discern her call to religious life as an FSPA. May she find love and support from her family, friends, the F and the FSPA community, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for wise minds and loving hearts for all members of her new home at the Clare Apartments, her formation team, and for all who will continue to companion her on her journey, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for Anna's family, her parents, David and Linda, her brothers, Benjamin and Jonathan, and all of their intentions, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for all who are discerning their vocational life, their vocation in life. May they be attentive to the wisdom of God's call and have the courage to respond with generosity, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. We pray for those who have died, Sister Fran Kemponich, Sister Anella Binich, our Sister Lydia Wendell and Savannah Kester, as well as Lowell Taylor and Russell Fire, we pray. Lord, hear our prayer. And now we pray the prayer that Jesus taught us. Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy, thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, now and forever. Amen. O God, source of eternal renewal, at his baptism in the Jordan, you reveal Jesus to be the longed-for Messiah. Keep us faithful to our baptismal calling, and with the cleansing water of your love, purify all of us that purify us of all that is selfish and insincere. Send us forth to proclaim the good news of the gospel. We ask this through Jesus the Christ, who abides. With, it, with you in union with the sanctifier, sustaining us now and for all ages. Amen. Amen. 